In this tutorial we will discuss biamperometric titration. Let's start with introduction. In this titration, two electrode cell is used instead of three electrode cell. Both electrodes are polarized unlike in amperometry where polarization of a single electrode is done. Here at one electrode oxidation takes place which is balanced by reduction at cathode. Therefore, a reversible redox system must be present either before or after the end point. The applied potential is small approximately equal 100 mV in this technique. In biamperometric titration, two stationary polarizable microelectrodes are immersed in sample solution. A small potential difference is applied as a function of an added reagent. And one of the electrode acts as anode and other as cathode as shown in the figure. The end point in this technique is marked by a sudden decrease in current to zero level followed by a rise in current, a sudden rise in current from zero level, and a sudden approach to zero current. In other words, end point is located by either appearance or disappearance of the current flowing between two electrodes. Iodine react with two electrons to give iodide ion occurring at anode and at cathode in equal rate as shown here. And if one of them is affected, say by adding thiosulfate, the tetrathionate anion S406-2 is not reversible, so after the end point, current becomes zero. This is called dead stop end point. Here, two molecules of thiosulfate react with iodine molecule to give tetrathionate anion and two molecules of iodide ion as shown in the equation. Here, before the end point the current is due to reversibility of redox reaction and after the end point, the current is zero as only one species can take part in chemical reaction. And a simple illustration of titration curve in biamperometric titration is shown here. Nature of curves in biamperometric titration. Here, at one electrode oxidation takes place which is balanced by reduction at cathode. Therefore, a reversible redox system must be present either before or after the end point. Here, curve A is an example of titration curve when both the reactant behaves reversibly at the electrode. For example iron 2 with cerium 4. In this system both iron 2 or iron 3 and cerium 4 or cerium 3 system behaves reversibly at the platinum PT electrode. And the curve B represents a case where an irreversibly behaving system such as arsenic acid titrated against a reactant which behaves reversibly. Here, no current passes till the end point is reached. Beyond the end point, the current rise in proportion to the concentration of iodine solution. And the curve C represents a case which is reverse of case B. Here, reversibly behaving system is titrated against irreversible system. Thus, the current after end point remains zero. For example titration between iodine solution and thiosulfate solution. Uses of biamperometric titration. As we all know, this technique is used in redox titration. And this technique is also used in iodometric determination. And usually, determination of water by Carl Fischer reagent is done by biamperometric titration. And this technique is used in series analysis, etc.